I'm Blake Collar with the Miami Dolphins postgame show. Uh, Miami Dolphins getting the win, 31-15. to A uh, pretty good game for the Dolphins offensively. Uh, CJ, what did you think of the game? I thought it was great. Took about lower threw for over 300 yards, two touchdowns, had 70 rushing yards. He did throw that pick six, but it's okay. The, the Dolphins win. It's okay if you have a mistake every so often, but you just can't keep letting that happen. If he throws another one next game, I might start getting a little bit concerned. Mostert had a touchdown. Hill had over 100 receiving yards. And uh, everyone in the offense was getting involved. Mostert, Hill, Waddle, Smythe, even Ramsey got some action with his pick six. Yeah, uh, I agree with everything you said. So on the negative note, Patriots, another loss on the season. So I'm going to hand it off to Sam. Well, I think the only bright spot on the team right now is Juwan Bentley with his pick six today. Meanwhile, Drake May struggling even more in his rookie role as he's being chased all around the field, being sacked all the time through that pick six, just adding right into his interception total on the year. And on the defensive side, not a lot to be confident about as the secondary gets absolutely torched by Tyree Kill and has trouble getting their hands on to a Tagovailoa. Very unfortunate game for the Patriots, and that this year could really be a struggle with them as they move to just 1-4 and four on the season. I certainly agree with that. Drake may certainly having troubles, mainly a lot because of the line and the lack of receiving help. Uh, we have CJ standing by with Mike McDaniel. CJ? Uh, Coach McDaniels, how do you feel about being 5-0 and on the season? You're winning every game by multiple scores, but Tyrell is still throwing interceptions and turning the ball over. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a team sport. You know, we're getting the wins and we're celebrating them as they come, but we have to keep looking forward. And, you know, we're on to next week against Pittsburgh. Um, really, really excited to play them. They're a really tough team. You know, Tua did get nicked up a bit today, so he might not actually end up playing next week, so we'll assess that as the week goes along. Uh, McDaniel, so uh, Pittsburgh is 4-1. Uh, their only loss being to Atlanta. Um, if they if they can manage if you Tua can manage to not play, then do you think you can end up beating Pittsburgh with their crazy secondary and T.J. Watt? Yeah, like I said, as team sports, I have confidence in everyone who would be there. I mean, Mike White's no stranger to playing in this league by any means. He's got a good arm on him, and I'd be pretty confident getting him up there if Tua can't play. Okay, well, he has been known to have his ribs be, act like pop rocks. Uh, let's send it back to Blake. Uh, yep. All right, so uh, now we got Sam standing by with Gerard Mayo. Sam? Well, Coach Mayo, as you move into a 1-4 record on the season, are any changes at quarterback tonight need to be made as Drake May just continues to be beaten up behind that pretty weak offensive line and throwing the ball to the other team as if he thinks they're his own receivers? I wouldn't say any changes need to be made uh, with May. You know, we kind of knew it would take some time. He's obviously young and experienced, but the leadership he presents, not just the command on the field in the huddle, but off the field as well, someone we've been really, really impressed with. And it's been awesome to see him continue to grow, and I expect that to continue along throughout the season. So you think that this maturity off the field can also translate onto the field and that eventually the chemistry will make them realize that his receivers are on the Patriots and not on the Dolphins or Colts? <laughs> I think one thing that we always talk about with our young players, let alone any other position, is that when you make the mistakes, you keep your head up high, you hit the tape, you, you look and see, and you try to improve on what you think you need to improve on. I think a guy like Meg, he's always so keen, so vocal in the room that I think he can, if he thinks he needs to turn it around, then that's something we'll support him for sure. He was definitely a hard worker down in Chapel Hill, and I think that he does have a good outlook for the future, as does your team, with an easier road ahead of you. Look forward to seeing you play later and hope to commentate a game or two that you guys play. Thank you. Really like May. Really hope he can be successful, but only time will tell. So that will wrap up the Miami Dolphins postgame show. Check back in next week for Miami Dolphins versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Signing off, Blake, Sam, and CJ.